Hi, I'm Kate from Ergon Energy. I'm working on Ergon's Community Microgrid Feasibility Study Project. As part of the project, I was lucky enough to visit the beautiful township of Stanwich Bay, which is an isolated coastal community in central Queensland. Whilst there, I met Marie Haynes, a local and business owner of the Plum Tree Store, and had a chat to Marie about the electricity supply and the importance of it for a small, isolated community like Stanwich Bay. Hi, I'm Marie Haynes from Plum Tree Store at Stanwich Bay. We've been here roughly 28 years. We do have this small business here, um, caters from anything from petrol, gas, food. We get in fresh bread, milk, takeaways, groceries. So Marie is a prominent local. Tell us a little bit about Stanwich Bay. This is a small knit community here with about 45 permanent people. Your peak times of Easter and, and Christmas, you know, you probably could have even up to a thousand um, just local people in their houses and their visitors and family. Some of the houses here actually rent as well. Um, so yeah, we do have an influx of, of people coming to enjoy Stanage for its fishing and, and crabbing. Stanage Bay is such an isolated community and your population experiences massive seasonal growth. So how's your power supply and what are some of the challenges you face being right at the end of a 100 kilometre stretch of power line? The whole community needs electricity. Um, it does get stretched at times. We do have quite a few outages, uh, low volts. It's just not a very large power supply. It is hard. Um, it, it is good to have a full power supply all the time. Um, we're probably different to other areas where you can just go and buy a fridge and freezer. We've got to be careful with what, what electrical gear we do buy. When you buy Bay Marie's and cookers and things like that, it's got to be single phase because it is only a single phase wire that comes in here. So, so a good, good steady flow of power would be awesome. Marie, Plum Tree Store is central to the Stanage Bay community. Have you made any changes to improve your resilience? We do have solar put on now because uh, our power was at a stretch. Our power bill was quite exy um, as we have lots of fridges, freezers and things like that which do consume quite a lot of power. So Ergon's microgrid feasibility studies trying to find ways to improve the resilience of the electricity supply to remote communities like Stanage Bay. What do you think about the project? Um, solar is great. It's been the best thing since sliced bread. If there's any other avenues that you can go to to get better power usage, I think it would be great. Less power outages would be awesome. Thanks Marie for chatting with us today about the power supply to Stanage Bay. We think less power outages would be awesome too. So that's why we're conducting the microgrid feasibility study. Be sure to check out our website to find out more.